Hello friends and welcome back to Build a Lot Acres. Today we're going to show you our new chicks. So we got these chicks about a month or so ago and they're getting pretty big. Um, we do have a couple pictures uh, from when they were really little. They're getting a little bit bigger now. They're Americanas, so eventually the hens will lay blue and green eggs. And we have six of them, and they all look very different, so it's easy to tell them apart, which is very nice. We actually think that one of them, B, is a rooster. Now we think this because he has the um, red sort of thing on his forehead earlier than the other chicks and a little bit bigger. He's a little bit bigger. So they do have this little red thing on their face earlier than the normal hens and they're a little bit bigger. So. So that one that just came in is blue. It's spelled B-L-O-O. And then we have Moon right here. And then B, as I mentioned, Lilac coming up next to Moon. I think that Lilac might be, I don't think a rooster, but I'm not sure. And then um, we have Flora back there. Just the chill one in the back. He will eat out of your hand. Sometimes he'll chase me across the yard, which is not fun. As we like to say, Willow has OCD, obsessive chicken disorder, because she is one million percent obsessed with the chickens. 
when they were a little bit younger, they were full time in our downstairs bathtub in the tote, and Willow would just wait at the door, looking like putting her nose up to the door, just waiting for anyone to open it so that she could seize the opportunity and go in and look at the chair. When they were really little, they used to have snuggle time with Willow, and they would uh, just all huddle up on her paws, which was quite cool to see. Now Miss Lilac is not always the nicest to her siblings. Could you take each one of them? Hey, stop it, Lucy. Lucy. Goose. Come on, show them what you can do. Be a coward. So, I want to tell you guys a crazy story about Zeus, our rooster. Um, so, the other day, my mom was painting in the upstairs bathroom, and she all of a sudden heard chickens squawking like crazy. And she looked outside, and there was a fox that was missing quite a bit of its tail, um, chasing our chickens. And she saw Zeus protecting the chickens by puffing up and like showing the fox who's boss, um, which was probably the fox, but anyway, he was protecting the chickens, the hens, and um, we were impressed. But the fox ended up leaving and all the chickens were safe. Good job, Zeus. You're not such a jerk after all. I'm sorry about that video where I had to rough you up. Take my apology, buddy. He said no. He's not here. So this so these are chicks about a week later. Um, as you can see, they've already changed and grown quite a bit. So we think that bee might possibly be a rooster, as we said earlier in the video. However, one of my friends that has chickens, I told her about it and she said that one of her hens had um, a red thing on her head earlier than the other chicks. And it was just because she was early to grow. It wasn't because she was a rooster all of the chicks are about the same size so we're not sure but it's getting harder to tell vivian and blue apart however this is blue hey baby it's okay this is blue so as i said blue and b oh careful bud and then this is lila Vivian, Moon, who is our flyer, and there's a big one, and then we have Flora here. So we have B, Blue, Vivian, Flora, Lilac, and Moon. So here we have one of our big chickens. This is a golden lace. I think she's kind of observing the chicks a bit. We have 13 big, uh, 13 big chickens. One of them is a rooster. Um, I'm sure that you've met this. There he is. Yep. And we are looking to add these six to our flock. So we are going to uh, introduce them to our older chickens um, eventually. Uh, we're not exactly 100% sure how to do that yet. So we're thinking about it, researching it, and things like that um yeah we don't want to build another coop because this coop's really nice and should be big enough for the chickens because there's plenty of room in the roost bar at night when they're all on there they like to huddle together so there's several feet of roost bar available we just don't know if they're going to get along being a different flock different ages all that kind of stuff because the other ones grew up together and these ones are growing up together so we're hoping they can all be integrated together without any kind of issues but we will see 
Claire, you want to go check on the egg stand? Yeah. So I think it's been around two months since we did the egg stand. I'll have to look back at the videos and see when it was. If I'm wrong, I'll correct it in the video. But why don't you give them an update, Clara, on how it's been going and things you might do differently or change. Okay, so um, as you can see right now, we have two dozen eggs out. I did make a new sign because the other one was paper and it got wet and fell apart and stuff. So we made one with just a piece of wood. I spray painted it and wrote Farm free range, farm fresh, three dollars a dozen, tips appreciated. Thank you for helping me support and grow my little flock, Clara, age 12. Um, I think that it's just a nice little message. Uh, and then now, why did you change it from having it to say, leave a dollar, leave a few, and not having a price? So I, I changed it to three dollars a dozen because I was starting to just get people just taking them and um, just taking them instead of paying at all so we did put a set price at three dollars um just because it does like take a bit of money to get the food raise the chi like that we need for the chickens it takes a lot of labor and money and food and shavings and things like that so we do need a little bit of money of course from the eggs uh to like kind of recompensate for that so it's just unfair i think to not leave any money especially because they are free range eggs um so um but even with the sign we have been getting some people just taking one or two dozen without leaving any money or leaving a um, very unfair amount of money like we've had some people leave only a dollar for two dozen did my mom put some sticky notes on them that just say three dollars thank you for your integrity um Hoping that that'll help. Um, but yeah, we can't really monitor it all because it is like all the way down at the end of the driveway and stuff. But we may, if this continues, end up um, just putting a sign that says egg sales at the end of the driveway, um, like every Sunday or something. Saving you a trip to the store plus or like organic farm fresh eggs at the store are like four or five dollars and this one's only three and it's saving you a trip to the store so i don't i just don't really get why people just can't leave the amount that they're supposed to but i don't know everyone's situation or anything so i'm trying to keep an open mind but we may just end up having sales at our house actually we even had one guy that uh when we didn't have any eggs out he stopped by our neighbor's house and asked um if we hadn't if they had any eggs like with the money in his hand and then they told him that it was at the end of the driveway and he stopped by the house to get some eggs, which was nice. Mm. Um, so people like that are really what we do this for. But besides people taking it, it has been doing pretty good. Um, I've gotten, I'm going to say around 50. Maybe 50 or $60 so far. Yeah, so far. We, so far, we tend to do like, started. what, three? Three, two dozen at a time. Maybe three or four dozen a week. Yeah, at a time, probably like three or four. Yeah, I'd say probably four dozen a week. Yeah. So maybe even more than $60, but like we said, she hasn't been getting the full amount per dozen either, so it's hard to say how many we've actually sold. But we hope you've enjoyed today's video on our chickens and an update on the egg stand. Please tell your friends if they like this sort of content. Remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a great day, friends.